when you whenever you try to boot your system you see your computer will, will be taking you to the boot menu automatically and it's refused to move forward if i click enter it, keep, it keeps bringing me back if i select my hard drive toshiba it keeps bringing me back same thing if i select it it brings me back so there's no way forward from here so what do we do if there's no way forward from here how do we resolve this kind of issue these technical issues how do we resolve it welcome to this video in today's video i'm going to show you guys how you can resolve such issues like this so let's go what you what you want to do is you want to restart, restart your system and press control or press f12 to move to the boot level now we're going to boot our system from the flash drive using the usb drive or the usb port now let's do that now i'll press f12 on my computer so i'm still waiting for it to look for it to open i've already pressed f12 now you see it's not it's not showing the windows logo it's not showing windows logo now we're going to boot this computer from the flash drive we're booting it from the computer or from the flash drive using the usb port we're going to install a fresh window on this system okay good now let's continue next installed installed okay now so you can select any operating system that you want but i'm using windows 10 pro for this tutorial we're we'll using windows 10 pro accept next okay now windows can't install on drive 2 let's see the details okay windows cannot be installed on this disk the selected disk has an mbr partition table on efi system windows can only be installed to gpt disk now i've showed you guys on our, on our previous video on how you can convert your hard drive from mbr to gpt or from gpt to mbr just go through the same process on how you can convert we converted a hard drive from gpt to mbr now instead of converting it to gpt this time around converting it to mbr you convert to gpt now go back again and try it and see so as you can see from my screen i've successfully converted it back to gpt now let's install the windows and see now the windows is currently installing as you can see it's working so far it's installing now you just have to give it time for it to complete its installation installing windows is very easy it's the most easiest part of facing a computer now it has successfully installed as you can see it's about to restart so let's allow it to restart within two seconds it will restart boom now it's restarting as you can see what's the i hope you find this video useful if you do find this video useful subscribe to the channel wherever you find this video and also share this video with others that might be having this same problem also so that this video can be useful or helpful to each and every one of them also let us know what you think about this video in the comment section below thanks for watching and bye for now